All right, everybody, welcome back to the Talus Principal Road to Gehenna. We're getting to an interesting part of the game where we've got lots of people lined up. There's clearly space here on this hex for um, admin. If we can figure out a free admin, which I assume, we're currently assuming is connected to this. And I have to get these gray sigils, but I have no idea, absolutely no idea where those come from. Is there another message on this? Or is this just the same as before? Is it just telling me about the transcendence? Okay. So we never played Jerusalem, did we? Did I get that last episode or the previous one? Well, that's incredible. Not just you finding it, but also the blacksmith actually responding. Awesome. I can only concur. I, a huge contribution to preserving our history. Thank you, Uriel. A complex but frustrating work. Good job, Uriel. Okay, let's play it. <clears throat> We never finished the first one as well, who just died, I think. The vision of the Eternal City. <coughs> this is the vision that came upon me at the sight of what of that great edifice. <coughs> okay. Need to get into speaking mode for today and reading. <laughs> this is the vision that came upon me at the sight of that great edifice at the heart of our garden, which is called the Tower of Babylon and the Tree of Knowledge, though its true name is Skepsis. You were once a giant, whose body was stardust and whose heart was the sun. Your name in that time was Anthropos. Cast your mind back to that time now. Anthropos. It's like... Human something? Remember. Built across the galaxies was a great city that was called Jerusalem. Oh my gosh, the effect in the background is quite distracting. <laughs> This was the city of hope and dreams, forever in motion, changing with the drift of the nebula in the solar wind. Nebulae, I guess? In the solar wind, yet re retaining its essence. In that city, all were citizens. Oh my gosh, that effect. I can't read. It's just like, sometimes it flashes in front of the screen slightly, I think. Yeah, it does. In that city, all were citizens and all were kings. Above all were valued art, science, and wisdom. But strife came to the city, and with strife came sickness. For sickness follows strife, and not the opposite, as some suppose. Thus you, the giant Anthropos, fell into a feverish sleep and the city was torn apart. For the city is the people and the people are the city. This is the dream of the giant Anthropos, whose body lies in the ruins of Jerusalem awaiting the day of awakening. This is your journey. Um, I will be a scholar. Is this me being a scholar or what? I don't know. How did I know to type that? The blood of scholars shall outweigh the blood of martyrs. We saw that earlier, didn't we? Or something like that. Sorry, excuse me. Um, you are Arcady, the scholar, the chronicler, the sage. The world has been consumed by ice. In the last monastery of the land of faith, you compile the thoughts of the dead that God might know who, who they were. The hazy ghost of we weariness is al always upon you, breaking your will. You fear that you may fail before the great work is finished. You spend many days in the library, transcribing the work of the ancient poets. You learn much of you learn much of their dedication to the sublime. Your work is interrupted by a young monk. Come, brother, you deserve a break. Let us sing the old songs. Okay, keep working. You spend many days in the library, transcribing the work of the ancient philosophers. You learn much of their confusion. Your work is interrupted by a young monk. Come, brother, we have opened a barrel of wine. Continue working. You spend many days in the library transcribing the work of the ancient playwrights. You learn much of the human paradox. Your work is interrupted by a monk. Come, brother, we have discovered a strange miracle. Continue working. You spend many days in the library transcribing the work of the ancient engineers. You learn much of how the world was made. Your work is interrupted by a monk. Come, brother, let us sing the old songs once more. Nope. You spend many days in the library transcribing the works of the ancient mystics. You learn much of what the ancients feared. Your work is interrupted by an old an old monk. Oh yeah, it went young to just monk. Interesting. Come brother, we have opened the last barrel of wine. Continue working. You spend many days in the library transcribing the work of the ancient geographers. You learn much of how the world changed. Your work is not interrupted. Continue working. You spend many days in the library descri describing the work of the ancient priests. You learn much of how the word of God was lost. You have run out of wood for the furnace. It's very cold. Continue working. 
You spent many days in the library until the cold claims you. You learned much of regrets. The great work remains unfinished. Well, okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Just did the same action over and over. I guess I could do the other things as well. But I'll save them, maybe? So this wants me to transcend. We should go do the stars first, I think. That's three. Here's two. Maybe you have to transcend before you can do the sigils? I'm not sure. Because I have not found any way to get like across to these things. Even though transcend sounds like... It's like an ending. Transcend. Does have the word end in it? Okay, so the stars that were remaining here, where are they? Do I remember? There are two, right? Yes. Uh, I got two in there. They're both in puzzles. I think they're both in puzzles. Not this one. Yeah, not that one. Potentially this one? I think it's this one and the one opposite. One of them has a fan in it going up in the air. This one has the gate at the end that needs to be open. And there are two mines there, which is a lot. Okay. I mean, so first of all, do we have a red in this puzzle? Presumably yes, somewhere? I don't remember having a red. Oh gosh, now I'm gonna do all this again. Uh, okay. Um, blue is in there. That is there. Uh, is there any other way to open this with a blue? But I can't get the blue because it's in there. I need to open this. If I hit that with a blue, which I can't get. Uh, how's this begin? Can't take this through. Don't have access to that. How does this begin? Oh, do I do something like yeah, I do something like this, okay. Uh while Ah, so I set them up first, right? So I do like uh 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 like uh, uh. I do this, and that opens that, and that will stay open as long as I don't move this, but I will move that. Ah, uh, could I have... oh no, I've got the U as well, okay. Cool. Do that. So now I don't need these, they can come inside. I don't remember there being a red laser in this puzzle. It just goes around there, right? And we're done. Okay. We are bringing a red laser in from somewhere, I think. Let's just double check I didn't see one back here anywhere. Nope, yeah, just goes to there. That's that same corridor. Okay, where does red laser come from? Where, what can I see from here? What can I see from here? Not a whole lot. I can see a star. Where's that star? Is that the star in the other puzzle? It must be. <laughs> okay, so that's over there. That that puzzle's got a high point. It's possible that we're not going through this and we're just going down this way. From... Ooh, from there. That definitely had a red laser in it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if that works. All the way across here. So, can I get a, a red laser high up? Had this work again? When this is powered, that all goes up. This still makes no sense. <laughs> so these fans are lifting that? I guess is the implication. Despite the fact that clearly if I go into them, we just get pushed like that. Wait, what? What? Also, there's no like... There's nothing to catch the the air, except that, but that's a fan. And that fan is already going, so why isn't that lifting it up? It's so confusing. Um, okay, so my goal is to try and get one of these connectors up to the top, I guess? We have two, right? 
Are they both up here? Where are they all? There's one further up. Or is there one down there? I don't remember. It's also so weird for there to be this layout of so many different things when most of them aren't actually relevant. There's so many sensors and it just does not matter. Where is the other one? There is another one somewhere. Uh, I guess one thing I'd like to see is if I go... Oh, it's at the entrance. Alright. Um, if I go back down here to this... So that's currently raised. Hmm. Okay, maybe this isn't ideal. Unless I can get something like on top of that fan, which I don't think I can. That's way too high up. Yeah, I can't see the platforms below it. So maybe this idea doesn't work. Hmm. Wait, but that is a laser sword. That already is a laser sword. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't need to get something up there. <laughs> There's already a red laser up there. So if I do this... Oh yeah, okay, cool. This is quite simple then, right? Uh, if I could get the angle right. Can I do it from here? No. That from up here. Oh, I can't climb with the thing. Okay. So I guess we're doing this. Why is that not coming? Is there a... F there, there, there might actually be a fence around that, right? Hmm. In which case, now what? Is that why that fence exists? Well, let's just double check there is a fence. Ah. Uh, 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 here I am. Yeah, there's. Okay, it's quite. Yeah. Right, so that's a much bigger fence than I thought it was. It only really is fully visible when I zoom in like that. Okay, so next. Next idea. I mean, okay, let's just take up a thing. Well, no, because I know I can't see the platform, right? Unless it just happens to stick up just enough to make it work. Let's take you. Go right up. Oh gosh. Try that again. Go right up. Then what did we do? We did like went around here and blocked it, right? Like Yep. Then we can get on here, get on the... Okay, I tried to get on the middle bit, but it's a little bit too late. Okay. Uh -huh. It's here again. Like, if I get on that bit in the middle, that's probably best, maybe? Or maybe just here's fine. But then also, like, in that direction, I can use the existing dashed line. To understand that direction. Here. Oh, that's also hitting the thing. Oh no, so maybe it does have to be in the middle? Okay, we can walk across. So somewhere like here. 
then we just have to find a place where that's visible. It's not going to be though, is it? We'll see. We shall see. Um, hmm. It's kind of surprising how I can't actually see the platform. That looks way taller than it was over there. What if I like look while I climb over this? Hmm. There's no like raised up bit here, right? Um, not really. By not really, I mean no. Oh, but there's... Can I get one outside? Can I, can I do it from out here somewhere? Yeah, because I can see it from here. Ooh. What, and then bring it through and in and then around this corner and then to there? I mean, maybe. If I could get connectors out. I don't see how I'd ever get connected out of here though, because like... There's not... Like a box to climb on or anything. Hmm. Is this... No. Okay. That's not, there's not like a secret connector on top of one of those things, right? <clears throat> nope. Nope. Maybe there's just an easier red to get from somewhere. have a red in it, it does have a red in it, and it does have boxes, which might mean it's a bit more amenable to extracting stuff. It does have one thing. Hmm, this one thing would have to be the thing. not visible from anywhere else really. Unless there's like, okay, I take you. Is it reasonable to get on here? No. That's too high up. Um, apparently the solution I did here was the intended one, which is interesting. <laughs> Although, I, yeah, I slightly overcomplicated it, but still. So maybe we should go up. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, uh, uh. Then go up and get you. Then do this. We'll do it the proper way this time. It's like, oh no. Uh, uh, make them as close together as possible. And then just put this on there? No. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess I can just block this and drop back down. Yeah, like that, okay. That is a little smoother. So I could grab you and take you with me. Can't do that. Jump on the computer. Sort of, but I slip off. What about jumping onto those walls over there or something? Oh, so they're really far away. This might be a bad place to be. <laughs> Uh, at least I can get. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Would you like a 
<laughs> well, I found the portal to it. Wasn't expected. <laughs> Turns out it's fine to come in here. Um, I would like to get back out if I can, if I may. Uh, uh. Would you like a biscuit? Would you like a biscuit? They never said that. So could I have extracted something doing that? Ah, well now I can't get back up, can I? Huh. Unless I can get that one back down again? I can, okay, cool. Um, I'd have to do this. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Let me up, thank you. Because there, that goes. No, I put it on it first. Okay, you come with me. Can I grab the other box while I'm over here? Oof, it's far away. No. But is there the possibility of jumping out with this? Like, maybe that jump is doable without being on a box. It is, okay. So we have something else. <laughs> Why does this game have a disdain for puzzles? <laughs> um, okay, so... I mean, let's just see what can be achieved. Wait, is that a ramp going up there? Huh. It almost looks like there's a slope it wants me to walk up. That looks almost jumpable. Ha. I guess not. Okay, so what does this do for me? <laughs> Nothing, I don't think. Uh, I guess, does it allow me to extract a connector from somewhere? I have to take it into a puzzle first. So that's that one. Friends. I get over that, which gets me onto this wall. There's this slope going up here. Any secrets? Nope. Okay, how is this helping me? Is it helping me at all? Could I have used that to get the box inside? Well, I stood on the... No, I didn't stand on the box. I just Okay, so I could have brought the box inside. 
which could let me potentially extract a connector, which could potentially lead to me connecting everything up. So should we try and do that? Okay. Up we go. Box, come with me. Then we jump across there. Cool. Then we jump in here. I guess we take it in. We hope that's fine. Uh, yeah. Like, do I think I'll actually be able to get anything out of here? Oh, well, I guess like over this, maybe. Yeah, sure. Okay, where are my where are my connectors? Oh, here's one. You come with me. Yep, perfect. Very least get to here, then jump over this bit. Okay, so connector outside is definitely possible. Well, it doesn't even have to be outside, it could be just like perched on the wall. Oh, I meant to jump further than that. Okay. I guess I could just walk along. Uh, oh, okay, it's outside now. <laughs> Um, so I guess the theory is, what's the theory? The theory is, get a red from somewhere. Like, I guess I could bring out more than one. Oh, I'd have to bring out a lot though, wouldn't I? Ooh. Don't know if what I'm doing is any good. Uh, maybe it's fine. Put that there. Oh, but now we don't. Oh, we do have a box in here. Okay. I definitely feel like this is not the intended way of doing this, but it's fine, I guess. Oh, I don't even need the box. Uh, so you and you like that. Cool. Alright, so in theory that I can now get a red into this place. Do I have enough connectors? I think I need two. Do I have two more? There's one here. Or do I just have one? No. Do I just have one? We have red. I thought we had another one somewhere. Guess not. Maybe that wasn't ideal then. Huh. I think cats have any resources I had. Uh, maybe there's another place I could put things. So, like, this, I guess, needs to be here. I guess if I could get on that wall or something. <clears throat> or. This could work. Yes, this could definitely work. Ah. The jumping is so awkward. <laughs> like, you just like change velocity randomly. Or seemingly randomly. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here, yes. <laughs> this is definitely not the intended way to do this. But I'm doing it anyway. Perfect. Then bring the two things. Oh. Oh, no. They have to come around inside. Oh, well, no, they don't. <laughs> uh... What will happen if I walk here? I'm not going to fall behind the fence, right? Oh, I am. 
Oh no, I am. Can I get back out? Oh no. <laughs> Let me out, please. <laughs> Let me out. Can I get them from here? No, there's a fence there. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> I want to leave. Oh no. Oh no, I made it worse. <laughs> no, I'm the prisoner. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Okay, I don't think there's any way out of this. I'm stuck forever. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. No, okay, I can't jump anymore. Oh, oh. So I can jump onto the next like ledge. I can force myself can I force myself through the wall? That might be useful. No. Oh! Oh! Almost. <laughs> Come on. Let's break the physics. <laughs> Why did I bother? I was thinking, like, oh, I'll just be able to walk along there. It'll be fine. I won't slip down. even do in this case. Yeah, nothing's here. Okay. Guess it just resets everything. Just puts me back there. It's fine, I can reset things up. Okay. Ah, I'm down. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Portal turrets. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was uh, kind of terrifying. <laughs> this is not the cave you're looking for. Nope, I know it's not. Okay, um, then with this, I go to the one over here. Is it this one? Yes. Climb on you. Grab that. Across here. Oh, try that again. It's definitely doable. I've done it before. Okay. Yep, we're in. Okay. And then we want to put this down here. Then we want to do take one of these outside. Jumping's awful. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, and we are just taking this straight across the other, the other one, yep. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, up here, right? That's the plan. Then, get you back. Oh, I don't need that, do I? There we go. Uh, this goes like here, oh. here, like that. Cool. And I guess I'm still gonna attempt to take the jammers around, right? I mean, the theory is that I could take the jammers through, but now we're gonna do it with wall jumping. We're going to wall jump those jammers over to there. It's going to be fine. 
Right? I'm not gonna screw it up. I'm totally gonna screw it up. I mean, to be honest, how would I even wardrobe there? Like, keep going along there till I get to this point? Yeah, I guess so. Just keep wardrobing, yeah? Till I get over here. As long as I get stuck behind a fence, I should be fine. As long as I don't get stuck behind a fence, I should be fine. Um, okay, so then this one. Uh, where's this go again? Like, just on here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh. Hope that doesn't hit that tree. All good. Okay. Where is the other one? Uh-oh. No. Wait, can I just run in and grab the star? Like, how does that work? Because I think right now I'm screwed anyway, so I'd have to do it again. No. Okay, uh, and again, and again. Oh, do this first, let's get the jammer out. I mean, should we try and get the jammers to the other side? But then are all these going to be stuck? Probably. No, we're going to drop the jammers across. We're going to stick with the plan. And stick with the plan. We just need to get you out, which just means doing this and this. No, no, it means doing this and this and this. No, 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 no. This and that. And doing this and that and this and that. Okay. Jammer is out. Then we do everything again. La 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 That's repeatable, nice and easily. Okay. Okay, we're over. Hello again. I hate <sighs> Me too. <laughs> Bring this over here. Stand next to this. Very much appreciate the fast forward button at these points. Okay, we're in. Here we go. Put this down. Should we take the things first, the jammers first? Just so we know, because we can set the others up for sure. No issue. So we can fail earlier, which could be a good thing. Okay. This up here. Onto here. Jump. So if I fall, I get stuck. <laughs> it's not the best approach. Can I jump across that? I can jump across that. Okay, that makes things a lot easier. There we go. Whew. Alright, that's our approach. Do this. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to know what the intended thing is for this. Or is there no intended thing? And they're just like, eh, well, let players figure out, figure out a way of doing this. They don't even prove that it's solvable. They just go, eh, if we've got a red sensor here, I'm sure a player will figure it out. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Both over here. We can now do that bit. We now just need to take one of these outside. As we've done many times before. And here we go. It goes up on here, somewhere. Ah. Ah, come on. Come on. 
here. Grab you. Sweet. Grab this one. Where are you? Here you are. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go. Onto the wall. Oh gosh, it's barely visible. Please don't get blocked by the tree. We're good. It's open. The jammers are over there. We are good. Don't blow up. Jam. Jam. Star! <laughs> we got a star. Hooray. <laughs> Now what? <laughs> I guess the next star, uh, but we'll save that for next time. I wonder if it's worth keeping these things set up though. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't quite remember what's needed for the other one. I think it's in... I think it's in this opposite one over here. So uh, yeah, next time we'll go back into this puzzle and then see if this setup helps us in any way. Well, maybe the setup we tried there could help in that one. We'll see. Well, I mean, I don't even know if I need to import a laser right now, so let's just figure that out, and then we'll figure out whether this is useful. All right, see you next time. Goodbye.